Okay, today we're here at uh, the picnic tables uh, near Soak City and uh, across the street is Knott's Berry Farm. And then uh, the replica of Independence Hall is behind me. So we're here to review these uh, Planters Cheese Balls original and Planters Cheese Balls uh, white cheddar flavors. And I know these uh, came out quite a long time ago and then they uh, disappeared for a long time and then they came back uh, like maybe a few years ago oh. so they do look like well they're not quite ball shaped they're more like a uh, cylinder shape <laughs> not quite as cheesy as uh, like say a Cheetos but about the same texture as the Cheetos puffs Although some of them are more coated, so they do have more of a cheesy flavor. I know uh, Nick Whitfield used to like these when they first came out. So Okay, let's try the... This one, I think, is a pretty new flavor. At least it just came out. There's also a nacho cheese flavor, which we didn't get today. But uh, here's the, uh, what is this one called? White cheddar version. They smell a little different. These, I think, are a little cheesier. Let me try one of each. Yeah, just a little cheesier. Um, slightly different flavor than this one. I don't know if... If you gave me these, though, I would say white cheddar. <laughs> I mean, but they're still a good snack. They're still uh, very crunchy. Very good tasting. So, yeah, if you see these in the store, they're actually... Uh, uh, we found these at Walmart, and they were with the peanuts, all the planter stuff. So, they weren't with the chips. So, if you look for them... You can try the chip aisle, but you also might want to try the aisle with all the peanuts and stuff and see if it's there. So, I'm going to take another bite, and I will see you in the next one.